everyone welcome back to my channel i am so glad you came back i'm just so glad i am c2 random i make videos about love astrology advice and real stuff real life so today we're going to be talking about my sign dating aquarius what to know when dating an aquarius this is actually going to be really fun for me because i already know myself so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna give you all the things that you need to know when you're dating an Aquarius, when you're in love with an Aquarius, when you're married to an Aquarius, or whatever the case may be. So if you are interested in that, then please stay tuned. We are very independent individual people, Aquarians are. We don't like being somebody else. We're always looking for a chance to be ourselves. So when we are approaching someone that we are interested in, I'm saying we, like y'all know, when Aquarius, when an Aquarius is interested in someone, they don't have to, to try. They can just be. They're not trying to be someone that they're not. And if someone is not interested in them, they're just gonna walk away from it. They're not gonna force you to do anything. There's some kind of special, and I'm not saying this because I'm Aquarius. I'm just saying it because it's true, y'all. I'm just saying it because it's true. We have a special aura, a special, Aquarians have a special magnetism about us. Like when we meet people, and I've noticed this from a personal level, when an Aquarian meets someone, they're probably never gonna forget them. They're not gonna forget the Aquarian. It's like a balance between being detached and being in love at the same time. Aquarians are very charming, funny, brainy. We Aquarians always have something really fun and really interesting to talk about. They have that amusing conversationalist level where they can talk about fun, interesting, entertaining things, but on the flip side can get really, really deep and intellectual and mystical. Romance for Aquarians, especially women, it's not really like, oh my God, I gotta have a man, I need a man, I gotta have a man, I want a man, because romance is more like an idea to an Aquarian, less of a pursuant. So like when I met my husband, I mean, I was like, okay, yeah, we're dating or whatever, but it was, I never really like was obsessed with the idea of marriage or anything like that. You know, we are married now, we've been married for for almost six years, but I was never like, oh my God, this is my Prince Charming. We're gonna get married and we're gonna ride off into the sunset together. Like, no. Aquarians are not very romantic when it comes to that kind of thing. They're just kind of like, if you fit their vibe and you're down and you're cool and you're real, then you can have a place at the table. But don't think that they're just pursuing you like it's going to be this big mushy ceremony of roses and chocolate because it's not. In a way, I would say that Aquarians are very, they're kind of afraid. They're kind of um, very like Capricorns, cautious when it comes to romance and emotions because it can get a little tricky. You know, when you when you do things on a emotional level all the time, your, your brain is always like on emotion and it's all crying. You can't really make decisions. You cannot be emotional when you're trying to be strategic there's just not a room you, you can't be both you have to either be emotional or you have to be rational and you know that's just something that aquarians are very stuck on that's their life thinking that that's the way they think they think off more of a rational aspect yet unconventional but less of an emotional they're more detached she is not going to be controlled aquarian people are not one to be trying to control and tie down. They will run away from you, and I know this for a fact. They will run away from you if you mention anything about control or like if you telling them that they're gonna do something, like you cannot be trying to tell them that they're gonna do something. You can ask them if they're going to do something, but that whole you gonna do this and you will do that, they not they're not down for that. You have lost 
you have lost if you're trying to date an Aquarian and you go say stuff like that like we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that no they're very independent free-spirited people that do not like to be tied down a lot of people say that and this is this, this could be subjective you know your experience is your experience but I have never been the type of woman and I'm just gonna break it down to y'all because I'm an Aquarius and I and I know me I know what I like and I know me and I have been told that I'm really easy to deal with I'm loyal Aquarius are very very loyal people and we're not jealous we're not we're not the type of women we're not the type of woman an Aquarian and I'm, I'm just gonna say all Aquarians in general man woman what have you we're not the type of people to be calling your phone every five seconds asking you where you at you know when you coming or if we suspect you of cheating we're not gonna follow you we're gonna let you go and cut you off like we're not going to chase you or make you do something that you don't want to do because Aquarians are not those type of people they don't want to be with somebody that's gonna be trying to force them to, to do what they want to do all the time no 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 like if you want to cheat and you want to you know not pay attention is your loss because we're not gonna chase you and I know a lot of people will get pissed because you're not jealous and because oh, if, I'm, if I see you looking at somebody else I expect you to be furious no okay go ahead go look go do you okay the only thing they want for you is to respect their space and their independence that's the only thing they want from a relationship nine times out of ten aquarian wants someone that is going to respect their space respect their independence they want someone who can intellectually stimulate them and they want someone that is unconventional and is not straight and narrow they like intrigue and adventure and fun those types of things. Aquarians make friends really, really easily. They have a lot of friends. They're very sociable. They can be very introverted, but they do know how to socialize. Like, they're really, really good at socializing. So going to events where they can talk to different people about different things, like a networking event of some sort, or, you know, just somewhere where they can meet a lot of people. I know personally, I like going to museums and I like going to like concerts and shows and, you know, music events to where I can dance and sing and have a good time, but yet meet people and talk to people. I know I went to a trade show last year, you guys, in Orlando, and let me tell you, I met so many people, I had so much fun. Any event where you can learn something, the topic is learning something, and meeting people is a winner. We're not burgers and fries and steak and potato people. We like really fancy, fun, interesting restaurants and um, you know places to eat. If you wanna go somewhere with an Aquarius like on a date, it needs to be something that's really interesting like a hibachi, where they actually cook the food in front of you or just something that's different. I know a lot of Aquarians are foodies because they love a different variety of foods. I am so like that. I, when I'm eating something, I have to have a, a different variety of foods on my plate. I don't wanna just eat the same thing every day or just the same type of food. Aquarians are not gonna, they, they don't have time for the bull, baby. They are gonna walk away if you show any signs of being stupid and making dumb decisions. They're just gonna cut you off and that's that. They are not, they don't have time for that kind of stuff. They're very, very smart, intelligent people. They don't get fooled very easily. And if they do, better believe it's only gonna be once. It's not gonna come around a second time. Please do not be jealous. Do not be controlling and do not be jealous of these people. When you and nag them, like that's just like, mm, that's just like a big no-no. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If none of this stuff makes any sense to you, like I have said on all of my other videos, please be sure to, I will leave a link down below in the description where you can go and check out your natal chart. All you have to do is put your date of birth, the time of birth, which is really, really important, and your location, and you will find so many different things. 
about yourself that you never even know we have a lot of different planetary aspects in our in our signs and our zodiac and that plays a major role into the type of person you are into what kind of foods you like into just so many different things so many different components of your relationship so if you are dating an Aquarius or you're married to an Aquarius or you just know someone that's an Aquarius you know try watching this video and, and, and learning some things about them so that you can kind of figure out what it is that they like and how you can treat them because you know it's always great to be educated on things that you don't know also sometimes it just may not be for you you might not be an Aquarius type of person you know it's okay you know it doesn't have to you know everything that comes into our lives are either there to teach us lessons or, or it's there for us to live with with all of that being said I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like the video it shows YouTube that you know what's going on and I will see you guys on the next one and until then peace